Welcome home. Hello, sweetheart. Mmm, chub baby. What took you so long? And you didn't have to go to so much um, trouble, handsome. Really? Mm, give your red hot mama a very big hug. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I wanted to find something out about you, and I certainly found it out. What, what do you think that Roger said to me? <laughs> that idiot who just came in told me to give you this key and this broken money and say it was from someone else. You really should learn to speak Italian. It's not very difficult. I know. The tough thing is learning to think Italian. I knew this was your room. Your initials on your bag, even on your underwear. You do a very nice job. I must hand it to you. You should see my flat work. Well, I'd love to. Will you come and do mine? <laughs> That's your fun now. You listen to me for a minute. I don't care what you are or what you aren't. You're old enough to take care of yourself. But the kid isn't. He's still a nice kid. And I'd like to see him stay that way. But he hasn't much chance growing up on this, this island of Amori, working until 2 o'clock in the morning, never even going to school. And you can do better for him. You and your torn bills. I never said I could. But I have friends in Rome at the American school that will see that he's brought up properly. Yes, it will be lovely for him to be with strangers, a little child alone. It might be good for him to be a little child again. You're teaching him to grow up so fast, next year he may be drafted. Would you kindly have him ready at 8 o'clock in the morning? You can't have him. He has been given to my care. The law will not let you. Huh. You have laws here? Only for tourists. Well, my Italian lawyer will take care of that. I'll see you in the morning. I'll not be up. Fine. I'm beginning to enjoy throwing women out of bed. Maybe if you'd stop, you wouldn't have to do your own laundry. Ciao, baby. Yes. Yeah. 